what's up guys atlas have dropped another well teaser for an update coming next week the farmhouses and buying ships for gold um so they mentioned the farmhouses originally when they announced the new map along with warehouses and a few other things um i was hoping i'd fingers crossed for the warehouse before everything else because i really wanted to see what that was the farmhouse i assumed was something you was going to see um at npc towns free ports things that i was thinking i was going to bring more npc things into the game and um, you might be going to buy like seeds there or vegetables and things like that but turns out it's a prefab it's a prefab building very much like the bank the taxation bank and it's going to be a prefab that you place down it looks like a farmhouse we'll look at the concept art in a moment and then it's going to gather resources in an area around itself now originally i thought oh they probably mean crop plots you're going to put the farmhouse down put the crop plots around it it's going to automatically pick up the um, crops like there was a mod in arc um part of the aa mods i thought it was going to work like that but it sounds like it's actually all resources so you're going to place this down it's going to have an area it's going to pick up wood thatch fiber metal stone whatever hopefully as well it would actually um you know farm up your crops that'd be really handy if it does do that so yeah that's the idea behind it now they've done it because they want to um, increase the amount of time you spend at sea let's read through what they've said first and i'll give a few more of my thoughts on it and um, obviously leave your thoughts to what you think to this down below guys or anything i might say in the video and um, yeah i've been really enjoying doing these videos mostly been um really positive um, interactions with people and good conversation and ideas coming through in the comments and on reddit and all that kind of good stuff so yeah i'm really enjoying doing these so as usual guys let me know what you think down below back to the matter at hand yoho pathfinders as previously promised there is some new atlas content on the horizon we're excited to bring you all a little sneak peek of the two of the new features in our next update coming next week Introducing the first upcoming features, farmhouses. Tired of toiling away on land like a landlubber when you could be out adventuring on the high seas, you're in luck. The new farmhouse will automatically collect resources within a range around itself. All you scallywags can now spend less time on your chores and more time sailing out beyond the shores. Take a gander at some of the concept art for various farmhouse styles below. Awesome. So, like I said, the idea being that you, they want you more at sea, more at sea. They want you to spend more time at sea. Again, I've mentioned the previous roadmap a few times in these videos, and I'm so sorry I've still not done a little breakdown of that. It's uh, not that anyone's really asked about it, but I, it's something I wanted to do. I thought it'd be cool to have it there to see what they said then and what they've done since and what we can expect in the future. But yeah, they did mention in that roadmap that they well, the, the whole focus of that roadmap was to push you into the ocean, more stuff at sea, more content at sea, less time on land. That was the whole idea that they announced with that original roadmap. And you can see now that they're still on that push. That's still what they want to do. They want us more at sea um, and... Yeah, it makes sense. It's a pirate game. They want the content to be out on the ocean. And like I said, the farmhouse will automatically collect resources. Um, so yeah, it sounds like it's going to be everything. And it just means farming as in like what we would call farming within um, survival games of just farming wood, fat, fibre, stone, metal, etc. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's a prefab. It actually looks really cool, the concept. I really like the coloured in one because I'm a child and anything with colour looks better. <laughs> but actually, this um, these stone ones look pretty cool. I do like the stone ones. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which one for. I don't mind. I think all of these look pretty good. So well done to the designers for that. But you can see there the footprint idea. That looks like that's sort of the same size as the tax bank. I know I've got no scale to go off, but um, I imagine it's probably what it's going to be. And then with the addition of the windmill. And you're just going to plonk that down and it's going to cover an area. I don't know how we're going to know what area it covers, whether it's going to be you're going to have to test it somehow. Typically in Atlas, they don't give you a range guide and you can't really see what the range of anything is. Uh, most things, you know, like a silo... A taxation bank is island wide which maybe this will only work if you own an island and it will farm 
the island. In which case, if you don't own an island, this won't do anything. Um, so they haven't really been clear on that. Um, and that, if that was the case, it would kind of force you towards the land somewhat because you're going to need to control some land for this to work. But um, yeah, not too sure. I would like to think it's a radius around your base, very much like a claim flag used to work. Before you could claim an island, you'd claim parts of the land. And maybe it would show you then, because actually thinking about it, I take back what I just said. The claim flag does show you a circumference. Um, so maybe it will work like that and it will show an area in which it's farming stuff. That would be cool. Um, again, they haven't really said, they've not been clear on what this is. Hopefully next week with the patch notes it will explain things more. But yeah, you're going to put it down, it's going to have an area, it's going to farm everything in that area. It's a really cool idea. I can see this going two ways though. It's going to be really pointless or really overpowered. And by that I mean you're either going to put it down, it's going to slowly trickle in resources, and unless you're not building anything, you're not building ships, you're not building structures, you're not crafting anything, then it's really not going to generate you that much resources. And if you leave it a few days to a week, maybe it will farm up you know, a few thousand of each thing maybe. Or it's going to be the other way where it just it's just so overpowered, constantly bringing stuff in. And there's going to be no need for tools, no need for giraffes, no need for elephants, etc. I would like to say, personally, I don't find farming that hard. Once you get the farming animals, that being a giraffe, an elephant, a bear, a rhino, um, it's really easy. Like, really easy. You can, if you're on a decent island with, you know, you set up on an island with a nice bit of woodland and plenty of stone and stuff around, um, it's really easy to farm stuff. Um, you know, like fiber, for example, we logged on, well, my brother logged on the other night, jumped on a bear and farmed, you know, 300k fiber in 20 minutes or something silly because there was just fiber everywhere, um, very little berries in it. Um, you know, woods, even with a really crap elephant, you can farm sort of 7k a run with a really bad elephant, um, in a few minutes. So you do a few runs over an hour, you've probably got nearly 100k woods. Um, giraffes are ridiculous for farming thatch. Like, it's... Even when I do that solo, because in the last season, all my friends had stopped playing. By the end of the season, I was playing on my own, and farming was just not an issue. It was just... You know, if you do it every now and then, when you ain't got time to really do anything, but you want to play Atlas, just quickly farm something up for a half hour, 20 minutes, whatever... You just keep doing that and eventually you build up a nice big resource. I know people don't like playing that, they just don't like farming, it's boring, I get that. But it's not as hard as a lot of people make out, it's really not. Um, if you get the right animals and you, even, or if you, particularly if you breed them and get some really good ones, then it's not that big of an issue. Um, the other thing is with Atlas, they're really pushing for you to play in a community, in a big company, with a big group of friends if you can. Um, and not really solo or in small groups, um, in PvP anyway. And if you've got a big company, then farming really isn't a problem at all. So, yeah, but again, I really like this idea. It's really cool. Any prefab stuff that I can stick down when I'm building, I'm happy for. <laughs> to add to the the look of different towns and that I might build, or, you know, little settlements, etc. And like I said, this looks cool. I like the look of it personally. I think it looks good. On to the last point, buy ships of gold. In addition to the upcoming farmhouse update, we'll also be introducing the ability to purchase ships of gold. Building ships is core to the Atlas experience, so you can still craft your own masterpiece. After all, nothing beats the beauty of a ship that you create with your own blood, sweat and tears. If you follow the channel, you know that's me down to T. I love building ships. However, if you have a chest full of gold and are anxious to get out to sea quickly, Purchable ships will come in handy. We'll be interested to see how this option will expand sea travel and interactions. More information to come. Stay tuned. Now, I don't think this is going to be galleons. I think it's probably going to be Schooner and Brigantine getting added to where you buy the ramshackle sloop at Freeport. Um, but obviously, instead of paying with resources, you'll be able to just pay with gold. I also think that it's going to give you a ship like the sloop where it's ready built, it's got all the planks on, it'll have the deck, some masts and a steering wheel, it'll be really basic. 
Um, I guess you'll be able to modify it. You'll be able to take things out and move them around if you want. But um, obviously, it won't be as good as anything you can build. It does bring up a problem. Now, Survival Bob mentioned this in his um, Reading with Bob video he just done that he thinks, and I agree with him, this is going to cause people to buy these in PvP and use them to block things, ram people, etc. It's just going to be exploited. It's going to cause a lot of trolling problems. Um, in PV, I think it's going to be good. You're going to be able to, you know, if your mate starts playing, give him some gold. He can buy a brig, maybe, um, instead of getting the sloop. And he can go off and he's already got a brig and he's already got a foot in on the game. I mean, he's already at a point where he can just start enjoying the game straight away. Because um, a brig's a really good ship. A schooner's really good. If you could just get a schooner, it'd be a bonus. Um, Schooner, I get told off at a schooner. I keep saying schooner, it's a schooner, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, a schooner would be really handy. It's really quick. Nice little ship for a solo player when you're starting out. Um, or well, mind you, any of the ships are soloable, of course. But um, yeah, I think that's what it's going to be. It's going to be the schooner and the brig. I don't think it's going to be the galleon. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe we will see the galleon. Problem with galleon, it's so big. There's so many decks. Um, and it's kind of pointless if you're... You know, you've just been wiped into just have a galleon. I don't know, actually, yeah, it could be handy. I don't know. I just don't think it's going to be the galleon. I think the galleon's going to be a thing on its own that you're going to have to work for. And personally, I hope that is the case. Um, I don't like it when they make games too easy and give you too much on a plate. And I know people are going to go, oh, well, it's PvP. People can get wiped. I know that, but um, it will take a lot away from the game, I think. Brigand's, Brigantine and the schooner, I understand. Um, even a brig's not that hard to farm, uh, even as a solo player. So being able to buy it with gold is no big issue. Yeah, I think that's going to be cool. Like I said, I think for PvP it's going to cause problems. I think for PvE it's going to be a good thing for helping your friends get started in the game. Or if you just want to be generous to a random person you come across and donate them some gold to buy a ship. I hope uh, I'm wrong and I hope Bob's wrong about the um, people exploiting this in PvP. But it's typical with PvP, anything that can be exploited will be exploited. And this has got that written all over it, in my opinion. So yeah, there we go. There's the little update they put out. The farmhouses, the ships for gold, farmhouses come in next week. Before I go, guys, ships, new ships come in. I've been asked this a few times. I ever get asked, when's there going to be a new ship? I don't know. <laughs> and uh, what new ships can we expect? Can we expect new ships? All that kind of stuff. The answer is, I've, I've answered this briefly before in other videos, which you might have missed, etc., and I do want to do a video on it. Um, like I mentioned at the start, I want to do the breakdown of the original um, roadmap video they've done because they mention it in there. But they're not going to make any new ships to release into game until they're happy with the stability of the ocean. Uh, because right now they can tweak everything, polish the ocean up, the mechanics of it, polish the ships up we've got in game then add something to it easily without any headaches and um, too much issues. If they release more stuff now on top of something that's not quite how they want it, it just makes more work in the long run. It's probably going to cause more bugs, more annoyance, more negativity. So, yeah, we're not going to see any new ships, I don't think, until the stability of the ocean sorted. It feels better since they've done the wipe. Since the new map come out, it does feel better, but it's not great still. Um, I've not really had any bad experiences yet, but I have had a little bit of a choppy ocean once or twice, but not as bad as it has been. I don't know if it's something they've worked on, and maybe they have stabilised things. I'm not sure. Let me know down below if you've had any of the um, choppy ocean syndrome. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it, where your ship goes flying in the air, and the sea's down here, and your ship's up here, or... Your seas up here and your ships down here with just your mast sticking at the top, um, and it just keeps switching like it's not in sync with the waves, kind of thing. That is what they were talking about originally, I believe. So, let me know if you've experienced any of that since the new map come out. I haven't, but I haven't had that much time on the game yet, to be honest, because of work and other things, like I said earlier. So, um, yeah, I don't think we're going to see it soon. I think we are going to see some. But looking at the timing of them starting a new update for Atlas with the new map, the wipes, um, it's July right now. I know we're you know just over halfway through the year, but we're heading towards Christmas. It comes around pretty quick. Um, 
I'm not putting my Santa hat on just yet, but I'm just saying it from a marketing type of thing, it looks like they're working towards something big for Christmas or at least getting the game polished for Christmas. Um, not necessarily for a full release, but just because they'll be able to really push on getting this game back on its feet, bringing in new players and showcasing that the game is better than it was the first time you played it on release. I've said before, a lot of the negativity comes from people that played for 15 minutes when the game came out and it didn't work. I was there on a day of release. It was terrible. And they never come back, but they just keep saying it, it's a bad game. And there's a lot of issues. I'm not defending it. I'm just saying, like, they're trying to move away from that. So I think we're pushing towards Christmas, get it polished, get these new um, content updates in with the new map, with a new direction for the game. And then maybe if it's all done at Christmas with a Christmas uh, marketing type scheme, we might see some new ships or a new ship. That'd be a cool way to tie it in. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're going to see a new ship soon. That's what's the point there. One more thing, I will do the roadmap comparison of what they said the other year and what we've had since and what we can expect in the future um, and break it down like I said I would do. Um, I've been, I've fallen a little bit behind with my videos at the minute because of work, IRL stuff and um, Atlas coming out and being wiped stuff. I didn't want to be you know, recording the boring stuff so I'm trying to get stuff set up in there but I haven't had as much time as I'd like. Not going to go into too much, you know, um, <laughs> sob story or whatever. So, yeah, I'm a little bit behind, but it does give me a chance to do videos like the uh, roadmap comparison that I want to do. So, I will crack on and get that done, hopefully. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. Let me know, as always, down below your thoughts on the upcoming farmhouses and ships of gold and Atlas in general. It's always been really good so far really positive interactions with people for the most part of um talking about the game and what we think can improve what they what we think needs to happen in the future and people's different opinions on the state of the game and things like that it's really interesting and um yeah it's been good it's been good so and i've enjoyed it so i'd, I'd like to do more of these obviously anyway thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one